I scanned this wall using photogrammetry for my last short film. The results were pretty bad. I've come back to redeem myself and I'm going to fix my five biggest mistakes. Also, just for fun, I have hidden a shot of the end result in this video somewhere. Comment below if you spot it. Smart cookies. Starting with my first mistake, which was shooting in poor conditions. You'd think that shooting on a bright sunny day would be a good thing for photogrammetry. Not the case. That's because the sun casts very deep shadows. Dark areas in your images can become noise in the final mesh. So today is actually perfect for some photogrammetry. It's grey, overcast, diffused lighting, no harsh shadows. Perfect. I'm shooting on this camera, which is the S1H. I'm going to move around the subject, making sure that every photograph has some overlap with the previous one. This camera has a dual native ISO. The upper limit of that is 4000 base ISO, so I'll have loads of light to work with, which is really useful because it means that I can stop the lens right down. I'm going to f20, and that means I'll have a really deep focus. And I can also push the shutter to 320, which means that I'll have no motion blur as well. And that should get us a really good result. So the last time I did this, the result wasn't great. I was working under intense time pressure. I had to go from a blank piece of paper to a finished Unreal Engine short film in three days. Which is why I made mistake number two, not taking enough images. The resulting mesh last time was actually made up of only 90 images, which is really not many at all. So this time I've taken just over 1,400 pictures. And I'm currently running those pictures through Photoshop, I'm doing a batch process, raising shadows, lowering the highlights, and doing a tiny bit of sharpening plus a little denoising as well. It's gonna run all of those through Camera Raw and I'll get my processed images at the end. Part of me is still worried this isn't gonna work really well, but we will see when we run it through Reality Capture. And that reminds me of mistake number three, <laughs> which is using free software. I've been using Meshroom for years and the results have been fine. They're good for background meshes. If you want to do anything close up though and you want to do a hero asset, there's not enough detail and no amount of retopologizing things in Blender is going to be enough. So I've said goodbye to Meshroom and hello to Reality Capture. <laughs> So it's the day after we took our photographs, I set Reality Capture away to process overnight. The depth map's all calculated first, so that's done, which is good. But I had two crashes on the calculating the model phase. I fixed that by moving the images from my hard drive, external hard drive, to the SSD on the computer. And that seemed to do the trick. So we're now 34% through, so hopefully we'll see a result in the next couple of hours. Just decided to nip out because it's crashed again and I think it's possibly a power supply issue with my PC. Either it's gonna work next time or I'm gonna to have to buy new parts for the computer. So no, not fun. I'll let you know how that goes really soon. I'd like to talk now about my fourth and probably one of my biggest mistakes and that's impatience. I'm sure in person I'm quite patient, <laughs> maybe. When it comes to computers and software, I'm very impatient and I just want to see the end result quickly. Photogrammetry is a bit of a trigger, I guess, in that sense, because it really does make you wait. We are on, you know, almost 24 hours of trying to get a result here. And at the moment, we've really only seen a point cloud for this, so we don't know what the end result's going to be. We don't know if it's going to be noisy. I don't know if it's going to look good. It might be a mess. I don't know. The last thing I want to do is go back all the way through and retake the photographs. I'm certain we've done that right. So I promise I'm going to be patient and we're going to see this end result no matter what. I've been worrying that this video is dead in the water because of my system, but we have a result. I pushed reality capture over and over again during the weekend and it has calculated the model in normal detail. God knows what it would be like if I tried it in high detail. I'm not going there, but it looks good. Here it is with texture 
uh, which is brilliant. But the most important thing here is to actually look at the mesh itself. Now this gives us a much better idea of how it's going to look when we bring it over into Unreal Engine because that's when we're actually going to shine 3D lights at it and relight this model. So if we zoom right in you can see there is some noise but there's a great load of detail. I'm really impressed with how it's picked up the detail in some of these bricks here as well. You can see the pattern in the concrete which is amazing. I love this. But of course there is noise and you can see here in some of the woodwork there is actually a fair bit of bubbling. And that brings me to my fifth and final mistake, not doing cleanup. It's so tempting to just take the model that you've got, throw it into Unreal Engine and be done with it. But this isn't done yet. When it comes to the cleanup of these models, I'm doing a series of small operations within Reality Capture because it has some really cool tools. For instance, it has some smoothing and denoising, but also the simplification of these really high detail models down to something a lot more manageable. What I'm going to do is also throw it into Blender for a little bit of extra sculpting because I think I can just eke out a bit more quality. I'm going to use the flattened brush which is the only brush that I'm really using in this case because it's a flat wall and I don't want to lose any detail either. So I'm just using it to smooth out some of those bumps to get rid of things that look a little bit unnatural. And without further ado, I have put this into Unreal Engine and created a cinematic for you to show you the final result. Here it is. Now, right at the start, I said that I'd hidden a shot of the end result somewhere in this video. <laughs> well, I actually hid two. So here's a challenge for the eagle-eyed among you. Go back, find those shots, and comment below with the timestamp. And just to help you guys out, it's somewhere in the first half of this video. The cinematic at the end doesn't count, obviously. And I'm not going to tell you where they are right now, but I will tell you on the next video. So head over, and I'll see you there.